Buffalo and welcome. I am the Suit and Tie Dip and Chew Guy and this is the number 11 review of series number 9. Series number 9 being premium pouches. Now as I said in the last review, although the Grizzly line I had come to the end uh, with that review, we weren't quite done with American Snuff Company products yet and as you just saw we'll be taking a look at the Lone Kodiak pouched product and that is Kodiak wintergreen pouches so let's take a look at the packaging so you have the basic can front layout except everything that is silver border wise is in bronze so if you're looking at it from a counter, what you got to take into account is whether the rim is bronze. The only other thing, major difference, is that little tab right there that says pouches. It'll be under the IA of Kodiak. It's sort of small though. Obviously there is another difference when the can that the net weight is only 0.84 ounces but what you're really looking for is the bronze borders and that bronze little tag there okay Kodiak branding American Snuff Company branding More Kodiak branding underneath is just the fact that it is pouches, premium wintergreen. Barcode and manufacturer's information. On the back. You have the fact that it is 100% U.S. tobacco. You have the date code, which is the sort of wonky letter number code in the middle there above Kodiak. Uh, the only important number is the fact the last letter and number L8. This is a number, uh, another November 2018 can. Kodiak branding, and then the warning label. So I'm gonna cut this band on this, and then we'll see what we got going on inside here. And I have Duncan stirring off to my side. Hold on for a second. Okay, and I am back. Sorry about that. Me and Duncan were having a little bit of a disagreement. Sometimes happens with Jack Russell. So I'm trying to get the can open now. And I didn't get all the way around the band yet. So let's do the rest of that. Okay. Okay. The product is very moist. Which is good. It's got a weird, almost stamped looking pattern in the pouches, like they've been pressed by something, like a meat tenderizer or something. I don't know if it's going to show up on camera, I'll show you. Do you see that, like, do you see how that is? Like they've been run over by a tread or something? They're really in there, too. I mean, they're taking up the whole can. But they have like a waffle pattern on them. The ones on the top, anyway. Smell off the can is a pretty uh, in-your-face wintergreen. Um, I am going to throw two of these in either side. I may hit the pause button again. They don't seem as big as the grizzly pouches let me get a grizzly pouch open here because these do not seem as big at all if 
for whatever reason. Grizzly, Kodiak. They're, I guess they're the same. They're just flat. They've been flattened out. It almost looks like there's more of them. Well, I'm going to have to do a count too, so I probably definitely will hit the pause button. Um, okay, let me, let me throw two of these in. I'm going to have to check this out. I think it's just that they've been flattened, but the, the can seems a lot fuller than the Grizzly cans were. Hold on for just a minute. Okay, and I am back. And this is now starting to burn. Let's move that around the side there. Okay, um, somewhat like the long cut version. Now, I do not know if these are as strong as the long cut version but taste wise they're sort of there um it's the winter green isn't overbearing there isn't a strong burn from the winter green there is a bit of a burn now that i've left them sitting for a couple minutes but i have a feeling that it's more along the lines of nicotine absorption than the winter green aspect um, the pouches are comfortable. All the products I've done thus far, pouches have been comfortable. There is a very visual difference between the Copenhagen pouches and the American Snuff Company pouches of Grizzly and now this Kodiak, but um, they've all been comfortable. The only complaint I had with any of them was that the Skull Bandits, which are purposely made smaller, are not enough even doubling them up doesn't feel like enough in in the mouth um this is sort of running mouth feel wise the way that kodiak long cut winter green does it, it's very smooth winter green there's nothing choppy about it it's strong but at the same time, there's nothing like harsh. It's not overdone. It's sort of just, they, they got it just right. Um, there's nicotine, definitely. Now, I do not know if there's the same amount as the long cut version, but there's definitely nicotine. And the burn, although enough for me to move it around the side, hasn't been like the Grizzly regular winter green or the Copenhagen winter green either. Um, it's it, it's a little bit more relaxed. It's a little bit more comfortable. I think there's just a lot of nicotine absorption going on. I'm not spitting a lot from this, but the cold weather has finally arrived here, and I am, in fact, I think it's running right now. My heat is basically running like nonstop, so I figured I'd be a little bit on the dry side. Um, all in all, quality packaging. I, I really like the Kodiak can. I like the side banding on them. Um, again, I probably wouldn't buy the pouches again outside of future reviews, but I have thought or had the thought cross my mind recently in the last month or so of buying the long cut version. I liked it that much. I, I, I liked that it wasn't real like winter green stingy on, you know, I liked the whole, the whole thing. It was real soft to the touch. The whole deal I liked and you know how I said, even though I'm not a winter green guy, I usually, you know, I'll buy maybe like two cans a year of Stoker's winter green. I think next time I buy a can of winter green, it'll probably be the Kodiak long cut because I liked the flavor, I liked the product in the can to the, to the touch, the way it clung, the strength, everything about it was all right. Yeah, it was winter green, and I don't really overly care for winter green, but I do throw it in every once in a while, just for something different. 
So really this is right along those lines. Um, it, the flavor wise, the, the flavor profile is right along the lines with the regular stuff. Um, the regular long cut. It's, it's a winter green that's definitely there, but it's not, you know, real burny, sting-y-ish, um, except for some obvious nicotine absorption that's going on. Smell off the can, same way. Obviously winter green. It's a very, it's their winter green, but it, they, don't, they don't take it too far. It's not, you know, over the top. It is not sweet, but I do not believe, I think it may actually be sweeter than the Grizzly regular winter green. Just slightly. Mostly sort of in the background taste. Not that that's really meaning this is sweet at all, because a lot of things are sweeter than the Grizzly winter green. Sting-wise, it may be a little bit comparable with uh, the reserve tones of it. May be comparable with the Grizzly Dark Wintergreen product, but so all all in all, quality product, quality packaging. Uh, I like the can designs. Again, this well, I don't really like that right there, but the bronze works for these these thin rims. The bronze works for that better than the uh the silver i think i've always liked the kodiak cans in general I, I think it's a good looking lid so if you like winter green and you have a reason to use pouches i would definitely give this a try i you know now i can't find this in my area in pouches the wawas around here which are basically everywhere I can find the long cut version, which is why I was thinking about getting it. Um, but the pouches I had to order in. But if you if you have these in your area, I'd definitely give them a try. Um, I'd also look up to see what kind of uh, nicotine count if there's if there's any numbers available. I know there are on the long cut version, but I don't think there are on this. So this has been the review of Kodiak. Wintergreen pouches from American Snuff Company of Memphis, Tennessee. They're all right. I like them. I mean, as, as far as wintergreen goes, I like them. I am the suit and tie dip and chew guy. Do check out Berg's Dip Reviews, Winnington Outdoors, Dirty Pat Walsh, and Wayside Lee 80. Three. I will be doing a couple sh shout outs in the next videos of people that I, I guess are subscribers. I'm not sure I didn't get notification, but they have popped up in comment sections and I do not recognize them from before anyway. Okay, so guys, do take care of yourselves. I hope everyone is well and as always, God bless.